Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here. And now that you have WordPress installed on your computer, let's take a look at how to use it. So I'm gonna run through WordPress's interface and uh, explain a few terminologies and we'll look at editing a few posts and uh, widgets. Uh, so those are terminologies that you might not understand just yet, but I'm gonna explain all of that stuff in a second. So uh, right now I've got WordPress open and this is the front end of WordPress. This is the front end of our site. And the front end or the way the front end looks is determined by something called your WordPress theme. And I'm gonna show you where to find themes in just a second. But I also wanna show you that WordPress has a back end, and you would have seen that in the previous tutorial. Uh, and to access the back end, you're going to add backslash WP dash admin to your URL. So now you're on uh, localhost WP admin, and that should take you through to a login screen. Just go ahead and enter the details that you used whenever you were setting up WordPress in the previous video and hit login. And from here, you can see that we've got a navigation menu on the left and we've got uh, some content on the right. And obviously the content will change depending on what page you're on. So right now we're on the dashboard and we've just got a little bit of information about WordPress. Uh, so right now we've got like one post, one page, one comment, and we're using the WordPress 2016 theme, which means if you were looking at the front end of your site and it looked a little bit different, you might be using a different theme. Uh, and then we've got options to uh, create a quick draft or a quick post, uh, but we also have options to create posts over here. Uh, and one thing I wanted to talk about uh, before we actually get into creating posts is this little black bar going along the top of the screen, because this is kind of important. It is called the admin bar, and uh, you can turn this off uh, in the front end, but by default is that it is actually turned on. So once you've logged into WordPress, it'll always show up in the back end, but if you hover over your website title and hit visit site, that's gonna take you to the front end of WordPress again. But now, since you've logged in, this black bar will show up and it gives you a, a few quick options to like easily edit stuff uh, that you see in the front end. Uh, so right now, uh, if I hover over WordPress demo, you can see I can go to the back end and I can take a look at the dashboard or I can take a look at the themes, which, uh, I explained uh, is the theme is whatever controls how the front end of your site looks. And these are coded in uh, PHP and CSS. So you have to know how to code in these languages to be able to edit a theme. But that doesn't mean you can't customize a theme uh, using a few little theme customization options. And that would be over here uh, in the customizer. So if I go ahead and click customize, um, you can see that this opens the WordPress customizer and uh, there are a bunch of things that we can change uh, about our site. Now this is theme dependent. So if you switch over to another theme, the options over here might be a little bit different, but right now we've got um, site identity and this is pretty much standard for all WordPress sites, uh, but the options over here might differ. So we've got the option to create or add a logo uh, we can change our WordPress site title to something else. So I can say uh, Quinton's site, and uh, that will then put Quinton's site over here. I could also put in a tagline. I can also choose to not display those things at all, um, but I think I'm gonna leave them there right now since we don't have a logo. And I'm gonna hit uh, save and publish, and I'll go back. Uh, and you can see there are a few other options as well, like um, widgets and menus and so on. So uh, I'm going to get into widgets in a few minutes, but let's close the customizer and go back to this admin bar. Uh, and you can see that I've also got the option to create a new post or a new page from here. Uh, and those are all settings that we can also find uh, if we go back over to WordPress. Um, we've, we can also create posts from the back end instead of um, you know, editing and uh, managing posts from the front end of WordPress. Uh, then we've got posts and we've got pages. Now, these two things are gonna look incredibly similar. And in fact, I think a lot of new WordPress users might confuse them for being the same thing, uh, but they are not the same thing. So posts are uh, actual blog posts. These are things like if you're right, if you're running a sports website or a news website, every single article you write 
might be a post, whereas pages are more for static content. So they're not um, blog posts that would update every week, but rather just a contact us page or an about us page. Um, those would be static pages. Uh, you're not going to release a new contact us page or a new about us page like every week, but you might go back and edit the content. So uh, those would just be pages, whereas yeah, posts would be something that you're planning on releasing weekly or monthly or just whenever you have time. I know not, not a lot of bloggers will, will post that regularly, uh, but yeah, uh, these are, are more for articles than they are for static content. Uh, then we have the media library. Um, and actually, let me just show you how similar posts and pages could be. Uh, so if I click on posts, you can see I've got a list of all the posts and right now there's only the one. If I hit edit, um, we have a edit screen and I've got the option to categorize or choose a format. Uh, so these are things that will be available in posts, the ability to categorize them and uh, maybe pick a format, whereas pages won't have these options. Um, but this, the pages screen is gonna look very similar. So let's go over to pages and you'll see the list of pages looks exactly the same as the list of posts. Uh, we just have a slightly different title. But if I hit edit, um, you can see that we've got some content over here, uh, but some of the options in the sidebar, like choosing a category or choosing a post format are not available. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it also might depend on your, your theme. Uh, if I go back over to posts, the ability to choose a format, this might depend on what theme you're using. So uh, if it is not available, it just means that your WordPress theme does not support uh, formats. Right, so uh, we've covered posts and pages and we've kind of covered the uh, uh, front end and the back end quite nicely. Uh, let's take at appearance, uh, take a look at appearance and you can see the first thing or the first page that we land on when I click on appearance is themes. And uh, that's something that we can also access from the front end if I uh, just hover over my website title and I hit themes, it takes me to the same page. So the nice thing is you can always see where you are in this menu. And uh, yeah, it's quite easy to use or simple to figure out. And from here I can customize or choose a different theme. So right now we're on 2016, but if I go ahead and activate the 2015 theme, uh, nothing much has changed in the back end, but let's go take a look at the front end of our site. And now you can see we have a very different site. So instead of having the sidebar going along the right hand side, it's now on the left hand side, the search, and a lot of the styling has changed. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is one way to quickly change the look and feel of your site is just to change to a different theme. Uh, and then we can also edit these themes if I, uh, let's activate 2016 again, just to bring it back to what we were on. Uh, and we can also edit these themes by going over to our editor. And uh, this is actually not a nice editor. I mean, you can actually see that WordPress is made up of uh, PHP files. There's one called single page, there's one called single post. Um, you can see that there's some style sheets which are CSS files, uh, but I wouldn't, normally use this editor. Uh, it's there just to be able to see some code, but generally I uh, like to FTP in with something like Sublime, which is my, my normal text editor. And uh, <laughs> this is a uh, text file from yesterday's uh, video. But yeah, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't normally use this editor. I'd move over to something like Sublime and now it's uh, closed, so there it is. Uh, and I would edit in that rather. Then we have uh, a few options for our themes. So choosing how the header of our website looks or the background of our website looks, um, those are options that we can change here. And uh, something I wanted to talk about before was widgets. Uh, and I kind of skipped over that really quickly, but um, if I visit the front end of my site, and I go over to widgets, I'll get taken to the same page. So appearance and widgets. And you can see right now we've got a few widgets over here. Um, one for a search and we've got some for recent posts and uh, they have some options here. So we're gonna show um, the five of our recent posts. 
Uh, and if I go over to the front end, I'll show you where these appear. Uh, because this might depend on your theme, they might uh, be different, like, like you saw uh, in when I switched themes, suddenly all of this content that was on the right hand side moved over to the left hand side. Uh, so it depends where widgets are set up on your uh, WordPress site as to where they'll appear. But right now I know in the 2016 theme, uh, this widget area called sidebar uh, appears over here as a sidebar. So it was named quite well, I guess. Um, and you can see that we've got a search widget and over here we have a search widget and a recent post widget. So these kind of uh, correlate and they're always in the same order, which means if I drag search down the page, and then I come back here to the front end and I take a look at this. Uh, now search appears further down. So uh, depending on where you have your widgets set up in the widget area, uh, they will appear in that order. And uh, we can always manage widgets in the customizer, which is something uh, we actually had uh, open earlier. So in the customizer, if I go over to widgets, I can see what widget positions are active and I can see that we've got um, these widget positions set up here. And again, same thing, depending on what order they're in, we can drag and drop and rearrange them uh, however we like. Uh, the nice thing is we can always add new widgets to this. So if I wanted to add a uh, text widget that um, just contained some text, I can go ahead and maybe drag and drop that all the way to the top and just say, hello there. This is my widget um, that will then set the widget up over here. Uh, again, it does depend on where you have widget areas set up on uh, your WordPress site, because if I close this and I take a look at the widget areas, you can see I've got one widget area for the sidebar, but I've also got widget areas for content bottom one and two. And right now, I don't think they're being used, but let's say I dragged and dropped my text widget from the sidebar to content bottom, and I came back here and I hit refresh. Um, now my content should be somewhere along the bottom of the page. I just don't see it. Interesting. Hmm. I guess it probably doesn't even appear on this uh, layout. I'd have to go over to... Let me go over to pages and I'm going to go view my sample page. And if I scroll down, uh, there we go. So it does depend on what layout you're using. And that is something that uh, I actually haven't covered. But if I go back over to sample page and I hit edit, uh, some of our pages can have different uh, layouts and um, we don't have a layout option over here but uh, I guess the home page just uses a slightly different layout to sample page, and that is going to depend on the code. Uh, so like I said uh, before, widgets are very dependent on your theme, and obviously this theme has a widget area set up on uh, pages, but that uh, widget area is not set up to show up on the uh, blog listing, where if I go back to my home page, uh, this is actually the blog listing. So. Uh, yeah, that widget area is not set up to show here and that's why it's not showing up. And now that we know kind of how to navigate us our way around, around WordPress and we know what widgets and blog posts are and uh, we know what the customizer is, in the next couple tutorials, I'm gonna show you guys how to start editing WordPress and making an actual website. So I think we'll set up a few uh, basic pages like a home page, about us page, contact page, and uh, a little blog listing. So I'll show you how a WordPress site would work in the real world and uh, hopefully you guys can put that to use in future. If you liked that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help. First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, follow me on social media, and if you wanna support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're gonna choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos and also hopefully help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.